Hi everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerushka to a TV. I am back with a new video. I am back on the scene as a mother. Um, I actually just uh, gave birth to our son. If you follow my channel, I have been pregnant and I have just given birth to our son uh, a week ago. He is one week old and he's absolutely gorgeous. He is just an angel sent to us from God. I, I cannot even explain this little boy's personality. I think because I was so calm in my pregnancy and so happy, you know, he's just very chill. He's so cute. So next time we will show him to you and we will introduce him how cute. Today's video is an unboxing though. It is a really exciting unboxing, which I'm super stoked about because this is a new, to me, consignment store. They're not new. I just haven't really tapped into them. I've heard of them before, uh, but they are super cool. They have a website, they have stores. Uh, out of the US and uh, they're based, I think the head office is based in Chicago. They're called Luxury Garage Sale and they have quite an array of cool things. So I picked up this item off their eBay uh, store and then the marketing manager contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to be like besties? And I was like, hell yeah. Oh yes, before I forget, I got a birth present it's so fun that it's called push present i'm like yo discrimination not everyone necessarily pushes <laughs> i i didn't want to call it a cut present because that's kind of like a little bit gruesome so i will unbox that in a coming video as well to show you guys what i got for my birth present so here we go box open ow ow casualties Oh, very nice. We got some tissue paper with LGS, so luxury garage sale. Little sticker just securing the tissue. Woohoo! Woohoo! We love good packaging. We love good packaging. I think that's half the thing. Being addicted to luxury is the packaging. You know, we, we love that. Good, nice tissue paper all packed in. This item came with the original dust bag for this line. The, new, the newer dust bags for this line are a different color. Maybe that will give it away. That might give you a hint, but you could just look back on my videos and see what I was talking about. And here we have our item. Sorry, just scoot up closer. The coolest thing about buying pre-loved is that it's a surprise to you. You know, when you buy new from Vuitton or Chanel, if you're buying it in store, you get to look at the item, you get to maybe pick between sort of the best of the best crop that they have. Uh, but with pre-loved, surprise. You don't know. You don't know what you're gonna get. I just want to say, this is epic. Oh shit! Oh my god! It's so tiny. Wow! Wow! It is in mint condition. Wow! I don't. I can't remember what the listing said, and then what their website said. I think it said near new. So this is my new to me Louis Vuitton Capucins uh, handbag in the BB size. And actually, trust me, it's small. But the MM size is really a lot bigger, a lot bigger. It is in the black Terillion leather. So it's that beautiful, smooth, but pebbled leather, uh, a different kind of pebble to caviar. Like it's, it's more like my Jerusha pouches actually, uh, but absolutely gorgeous. And it's got silver hardware. I'm really loving silver at the moment. I've got obviously 
a lot of gold bags and most of the standard Vuitton come with gold and uh, so yeah wow gorgeous detail oh I didn't smell the dust bag but I didn't really have to because I could smell when it came out it's just it smells like everything smells like leather so that's great that's the afternoon kookaburras welcome to Australia okay so just looking inside I'm not seeing any paperwork but that's, I guess that's okay. I, I'm not quite sure if it's meant to come in paperwork. I'm just going to show you the details, have a look inside. So if you know the Capucins line, uh, they have the top, like, undetachable permanent handle for handheld, or I guess if you want to have it in the crook of your arm, uh, like so, it's permanent. And the way that it uh, closes is quite interesting, very interesting. But this flap comes from the back and threads through a little keeper, a leather keeper there over the LV logo on the front. And you can pull it back. Some people find it a little bit irritating because the, the flap is just always there. I've done my research. If you watched my last video is saying I like this bag a lot. I had said that I watched Lydia's review on it and unboxing and fell in love with it that way. A lot of uh, people that have this bag just tuck it in the back like so. Hang on. Tuck it if you can see that on the back pocket and just leave their bags open. We'll give it a stretch. Just leave their bag open like that. And it's quite a small compact bag, so you probably don't have to worry too much about, you know, pickpocketing. Although, you know, be smart. The other closure is a Neverfull type uh, clasp. So from this side to this side, you can see the silver clasp goes across uh, to create more security for your bag as well. The features of this bag, being a BB, it comes with the strap. On some people, this is crossbody. I'm pretty sure on Jerusha. Till we start our salads and clean eating regime again, this won't go crossbody. But what really drew me to doing another black bag is that the uh, glazing, which I will see if I can show you the glazing is kind of a kind of tingy raisin purpley kind of color can you see that so it gives it this kind of purple lift not purple but like just a little bit of a different edge which I really liked so the glazing is a really cool kind of uh, feature that I liked a lot so here's a crossbody strap it attaches on uh, D-rings on each uh, adjacent corner of the bag. Very similar to most BBs do that way. If you don't want to use a body strap, cross body strap, shoulder strap, these D-rings work great as a D-ring in the bag. So to attach your keys or your mini pochette, that's really cute. So let's go ahead and clip these on. There we go, clipped on just goes like so. I like that it doesn't really get in the way of the handle. It's not super fussy like an Alma uh, because I don't really love how the Alma does that. I'm going to try and get internals. This bag is quite hard. In any other review I've watched, it's hard to get internals. Uh, you do So here you can see the leather strap that this flap goes down into like an envelope. So like that. It does have a little D-ring on the front of it. Very cute. There is your made-in stamp. In silver here so that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamped in a beautiful silver metallic there so as you as I said there's the back flap uh, with the fleur-de-lis flower on it you have this one back zipper compartment all the attention to detail is insane it's just so beautiful so here we have the zipper pull which has got Louis Vuitton on the front and on the back of it there's the clasp I was saying attaches to this side. And then you just have this one flat uh, zipper compartment at the back here. Uh, like that, the flap does cover it if you put it in the back. 
uh, but some people put the flap in the actual zipper pocket I've seen that as well it's quite interesting I guess you could do that if you weren't going to utilize the pocket the interior as you can see is this amazing kind of fuchsia grenade it actually looks like the grenade uh, fuchsia lining and it's in a smooth leather so it's not fabric it'll be easy to clean it almost feels like the cosmetic case uh, calf lining leather so you can wash it away down inside this back slip pocket there they did have the little textile card so we have outside cow hide leather and the inside is calf leather so it is similar to the cosmetic case as I just said so that came in there as I just said the attention to detail is so crazy beautiful these are the hardware rings on the side have beautiful like leather uh, embossed it's set with leather and then it has these kind of rivets um, two are engraved with Louis Vuitton there around in a circle it's a circle kind of attachment so cute it's got two rivets and silver hardware there which also has Louis Vuitton engraved in it it has rivets every rivet that's in here has Louis Vuitton engraved in it so these two it kind of reminds me of like original kind of o OG Vuitton items that everything has Vuitton engraved in it. Some items I feel like it doesn't really do that as much anymore. Here are the clasps, which are obviously silver hardware. We've got LV engraved on one side and LV engraved on the other. I will do a what fits in this bag, how I pack this bag video once obviously I've used it. The absolute stunning shape of it is what makes it really clean, really chic really kind of simple and refined for Vuitton and then this beautiful emblem so from far away it's not too in your face you can just see the silver like V and uh, internal uh, kind of line but when you hold it up close we've got the kind of covered leather wrapped part of the LV and then the exposed silver palladium uh, hardware there it's just absolutely gorgeous so beautiful I will say it is a lot smaller than I thought it's probably it's not as small as an Alma BB but what could I compare it to okay I just grabbed my speedy to see if I can compare it okay I guess yeah maybe the size of a speedy 25 but it definitely won't hold what a speedy 25 holds this is a bucket bag that holds everything and this is far more compartmentalized uh, inside I will do a high pack my bag as I said, but for now, ha, I'm so excited. This is classified now as one of Vuitton's kind of new classics. If you see the uh, Michelle Williams uh, advertising campaigns all the time with her with doing something like along the lines of this. <laughs> no. There's a huge array of colors and then there's different handles as contrast like more exotic skins and whatnot and that sort of thing. It is the higher price point for Louis Vuitton. I think they definitely are trying to compete with Chanel and Hermes up here in this price range. Uh, but again, at first sight, the, the absolute attention to detail is perfection. So, you know, this versus maybe a Chanel. I guess a Chanel GST they're discontinued but I wouldn't say classic maybe the Chanel rock and roam I, that sort of price yeah it's brilliant quality it's definitely competitive on the bottom you do get four feet which everybody likes if they care for their bags they are engraved with Louis Vuitton all four of them which is nice detail but yeah I think that's everything I do want to throw it on and just show you what it looks like on my body frame again I'm five seven five seven and a half I'm quite a tall bigger curvy girl and we will see what it looks like okay you have to bear with me and we have just had a baby a week ago so down by my side just handheld very cute very dainty very ladylike and then on my arm like so which I totally could see myself rocking it this way just to access it and sort of maybe throw it on my pram and then with the strap it is actually quite long wow look at that okay so it's a good drop 
okay. Oh wow, it's not as high as my boy bag by Chanel, so that's good. So the handle stays up, that's cute. Good access, because it's like a mini tote bag, very cute. So love it, first impression, fantastic. Such great condition. Luxury garage sale, I'm gonna link their website below. I am gonna link their eBay store below. But that is my new to me bag, the Louis Vuitton Capucines in the color Noir, which is black, the silver hardware. I'm so excited, I'm gonna get straight into this bag. That's the thing with uh, pre-resale market is I tend to use them straight away. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my new Capucines bag from Vuitton, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be so great, guys. I will see you in my next video. Uh, not sure what it will be, but also an unboxing will be coming of my birth present, push present, cut present. Oh, that is so gory. Hope everybody is doing really well, guys. Take care. Peace.